Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Gu Qingxiang, lead of open source team in Nanjing Fuji's Nanda Software Technology. My topic is making business by contributing to open source. I'm honored to share our experience with you. Okay, let's start. In this topic, I will introduce my company, in short, and then introduce key point of making business by contributing to open source in detail. First, let's start from the company profile. Our company name is Nanjing Fujits Nanda Software Technology, and we always call it FNST for short. It is a small company established as a joint venture between Fujis and Nanjing University of China in 1999. Fujis is a top-level company in the world, and Nanjing University is one of the top five universities in China. FNST, a their joint venture company, can learn from Fuji's mature development experience and attract top-level talents from China. Our, our open source team was established in 2003. Since then, we have participated in the community work on many open source projects in many fields, including Linux OS, virtualization, database, compiler, storage, and so on. Of course, the investment on the effort of each project is different. This is the count of contribution we have made in the open source community since 2003. As of 2019, our number of commits have got over 15,000. Before 2012, all of the work of the open source team came from Fujitsu. In 2012, FNST already had a certain influence in China in the field of open source working. We began to think about what else could be brought by contributing to open source. Back then, a domestic electric power company came to seek corruption with us on Linux. So start from then, we began to explore how to turn the effort to business. After so many years of exploration, we have summarized three key points. The first is to find out the core competitiveness and extract what service or product can be provided. As mentioned above, we have invested in open source projects in many fields. But the investment and the influence of each project are not the same. Therefore, based on but not limited to market demand, the number of maintainers modular coverage, number of patches. We have selected our most advantageous business area. That is Linux OS, OS virtualization, and software defined storage. Many companies use open source software in their products, but the community activities of open source software 
and not enough to meet the business needs of them. Based on this, with Linux as a core, we have defined the F1 OSS service, providing OSS consulting, open source solution evolution, open source support, and open source customization services. Among them, Open source support service has also formulated cost reporting, service levels, and service process. For example, we can provide private or public cloud selection consulting service for traditional industry and provide professional performance evaluation tests for embedded Linux OS which can be used as a reference for customers who design their devices. And when customers need to use SendOS for customization, we can provide support service on SendOS. Even we can directly provide customization service In addition to open source service, we have developed F1 cloud products combined with the marketing needs based on open source. We are committed to providing basic service facilities from eyes to dust and can provide such services in special things. It has also been optimized for specific industries. For example, for the automobile manufacturing industry, the developed environment is template and CICD tools are provided. For the energy industry, GPU pass-through was made to optimize the processing speed of big data. For the medical industry, in order to adapt to picture achieving and the communication system, we optimized for writing massive small files. Okay, we have defined what we can provide. And the next step is to identify target customers. How did we achieve that? First, we analyzed our service and products. F1 OS service may solve the problem of not knowing which open source software should be used. All the open source software has been used, but no service was provided to meet their needs. The F1 cloud product may solve the problem of cloudification. At this stage, we focused on the customers in China. Based on the positioning of the services, products we can provide, we conduct market research and analysis. We divide companies into small and medium ones, as well as large traditional companies and large ICT companies. Large scale ICT companies generally have their own professional development teams, and they are less likely to seek external teams or products. However, small and medium sized companies or large traditional companies, due to the lack of a professional open source development team, are very likely to seek assistance from an external professional team. Among them, companies that are already open source users are likely to be our target customers. For example, companies in the electric power industry use older versions of Linux 
and the community of these versions may have stopped serving, or even if it is a version maintained by the community, the community's response will not meet the requirements of the commercial company. There are also some commercial companies need to customize because of their specific business. And this may not necessarily be adopted by the community. For example, customers use build root to generate embedded Linux by themselves. And S Linux on it needs certain adapting work. For another example, when using a container, Resource control is also required for each application in the container. These companies are our target customers because they require special customization of open source for special things. Also, some traditional industries, such as the energy industry, require cloudification to improve their computing speed. This is also our target customer. The last point, grow together with open source. FNST has increased its visibility in China through many years of participation in open source contribution, so customers can. In the process of serving customers, we found shortcomings or bugs in use. After solving these problems, we contributed them to the community, and it will increase our influence too. And this virtuous cycle, more customers will be achieved. In addition to the virtuous work cycle, we, also, we are also participating in organizing some open source project conference in China. For example, we co-host the China Linux Kernel Developer Conference in, with Intel China, Huawei, and Alibaba. To attract more developers to participate, in the development of the Linux open source community. Okay, that is core point on my topic. Of course, in addition to the three most important points mentioned above, we also pay attention to the needs of developers, update the market information often, and so on. The open source team has only one customer, Fujis, since its establishment in 2003. After so many years of hard work, more than 10 domestic long-term partners were achieved so far. Okay, that's all contents I want to share. Thank you.